Hi guys, this is your DK again. In this video, we are going to see how to implement a variational auto encoder model using PyTorch. Before getting started, let me give you a quick overview on what is this VAE model is all about. So how a generative AI creates a new image. That's basically based upon this model. So what this model is going to do is like, if you give an input to this model, this model is going to keep the images in a latent space. For example, what we're going to do, we're going to give a baby image and a flower image to this particular model. So this particular model is going to group the images and it's going to keep it in a latent space. A latent space is kind of a dimensional place. It can be one dimension, two dimension, three dimension or n dimension. So when user requests for an image, so it is not going to pick the old image. What it is going to do is like it going to point in one particular location so this particular location might point to two different babies image out of two different babies image it will try to create a new baby image out of it so this is the piece of code which i have already written let me explain you the input data set so i have a data like input uh, here i have two folders one is baby which has some babies images over there and i have something like flower so here i have all the flower images over there so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to import all the attach packages as you have seen so image folder so here you need to pass the path of the folder so in this path i have two different subfolders so that is kind of a label to the model so i'm going to pass the path next i'm going to transform the image so the image is of a three-dimensional it's a colored image so feeding a three-dimensional image it makes the model more complicated so i'm going to convert into a grayscale image and i'm going to resize it because each and every image will have a different structure i'm going to resize into 56 comma 56 that's what i have done over here so next what i'm going to do is like i'm going to load the data set using the image folder package using the pytorch yeah once i have done this i have created a simple vae neural network so what i'm going to do if you multiply 56 into 56 it's going to be 3136 so i'm going to convert 3136 dimensions i mean i'm going to convert 3136 tensors into 784 from 784 i'm going to convert into 200 from 200 i'm going to keep the image into 20 latent dimensional spaces so if you know about vae model there is something like sigma as well as we have something like z value so that's what i have mentioned over here if you not sure about it kindly request you to revisit the topic so in the decoder model it's kind of a reverse you can see over here from 20 to 200 20 to 200 and 200 to 784 200 to 784 784 to 3136 so from the latent space i'm going to take one particular point and i'm going to create a new image out of it that's what this encoder and decoder model is all about so this is what i'm doing so in encode what i'm going to do i'm going to call this and i'm going to do relief activation on top of it after the output of this one is going to go into this particular hidden layer again i'm going to do a relief after that i'm going to do a sigmoid at the end so this is the encoder code which is over here so those who know VAE, we have something like mu and sigma. That's what I have calculated over here. And similarly, we have the decode architecture. So this is the normal feed forward propagations algorithm, which I have written over here. So here I have given some kind of uh, default parameters. So input dimension is going to be 3136 and uh, 20 latent space and the uh, hidden layer dimension is 200. A number of epochs I have given as 32. I'm going to mention the batch size as 32 again sorry number of epoch is 250 and batch size is 32 and i'm going to pass the learning rate as 3 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and i'm going to load the data set and i'm going to train the model so basically this is going to train my model and it is going to calculate the loss so i have already ran this piece of code so it took some like around 5 to 7 minutes for me to run off 200 epochs so it's well and good so next i have written a piece of code where i'm doing this inference so what i'm going to do inference is like i'm going to pass the label zero corresponds to the baby's image and one corresponds to the flower image let me try to delete the image over here so this is the image it's going to create uh, okay so when i run this piece of code uh, when i run this piece of code with zeroth index what it is going to do is like it's going to create a baby image a new baby image out of it let me run this 
so it has created an image so you can see here right uh the image size is very small because i'm training it with 56 comma 56 so you can see here right? it is kind of a new image out of the input image which i have given so if you see here this is the input image i have given so it is trying to create a new image combining all the images and it is trying to create a new image out of it and let me try to run for flower index if i run for flower index it is trying it will create a new output for me so this is the one so you can see right it, it has multiple flowers this is one piece and this is another piece it is trying to create a new image out of it but if you train the model with more number of epochs and more number of inputs it might give you good accurate results thanks for watching the video and happy learning if you do like the video kindly do subscribe it i have given the code in the description kindly do practice during your free time and let me know your thoughts